Hey, it's me, Lorianne. How would you like to go on a transformational retreat? But one that captures your spirit, your alignment to your soul, one that captures photographs of the light in your eyes of your spirit. Imagine that. So tell me something. When you look at photographs of yourself, do you feel as if they're not really you or they don't convey the authenticity of who you are or that your spirit is absent? You know, not everyone is going to see that or feel that. But if this is speaking to you, please listen. Okay, so when someone pulls out a camera or their phone, do you kind of want to hide or do you have a go to pose or do you create a funny expression or do you just run and hide altogether? So that's kind of what I do. It, it's a funny thing. We just don't feel safe these days when a camera comes out. And what we do is we suddenly become hyper aware of our set of flaws, right? And we don't want those set of flaws immortalized. And, you know, our ideas of our flaws are completely corrupted because they're based in standards that aren't even realistic. And so I'm not going to go down that rant, but you understand what I mean. So when we focus on our flaws, we don't feel safe when the camera comes out. We feel vulnerable. We feel like someone isn't really going to take our best um, angle or um, let us know if anything is um, off about our hair or, or any of that stuff because it all happens so fast. It's not methodical, it's not mindful, it's not, ah, it's not meaningful in some ways. It might be in the moment meaningful, but in terms of you as a soul showing up, this is, this is in so many cases lacking. Do you know what I mean? Is this speaking to you? So basically we don't feel safe to show up authentically. And when we don't feel safe, we want to hide. And so, you know, this may sound a bit arrogant, but it's not. It's that we've been conditioned to focus on our flaws and to attempt to compare ourselves to impossible standards in, say, you know, media or the fashion industry or, um, you know, Hollywood, you name it. And we're very few of us are going to live up to those ideals and nor should we try where where's authenticity we got fake lips fake um you know wrinkles diminished we got fake breasts we got fake butts i mean you name it like it's fakery everywhere and i don't know about you but i love authenticity I love character in a face. You know, if someone's eyes are different, which by the way, everyone's eyes are different. No one has two perfectly symmetrical eyes. And if you do, it actually looks kind of weird. <laughs> so, uh, or, or someone has a crooked smile. How charming is a crooked smile? I tell you, that's a real, you know, um, you know, instant likability about a person. We love each other's flaws. We love what makes us different and unique. But then we get this idea in our brain that these are flaws. And they're the things that the people that love us love about us. Remind us of who we are to them in through their hearts. It's these ido, little idiosyncratic things that, you know, just a profile or, you know, just a, a flush in the face. I mean, there's so many things. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to get off that, that, that rant and get back to my notes. Okay. So, um, so we're conditioned to focus on our flaws and we reject photos of ourselves because we're believing that those flaws are a problem. And guess what? The flaws are not the problem. The problem is, listen, that we are not connecting to ourselves in that moment. 
we're connecting to a set of ideas about our flaws that aren't even real in that moment when click happens. It's crazy making, right? So no wonder you look at a photograph of yourself and you don't like it. You, it just confirms and proves to you your flaws have to be the problem. But the problem isn't the flaws. Get this through your head. The problem is that you are not connecting to your most authentic self in that moment. Having your photograph taken used to be a great privilege, a great honor. And that's gone. That is so gone. There are so many images being created all over the world all the time now. And we need to pull it back. We need to slow it down. We need to get mindful about it and recognize that this is a sacred act. And so we need to approach it with that mindset. Well, that's, that's how I do it here in my studio. You know, my portrait work is an extension of all the other work that I do that is spiritually orientated, that is intuitively orientated. So this is no different. So let me back to my notes again. So maybe you're tired of, uh, you know, maybe you're just tired, you know, of, of looking at photos of you that just aren't you. And you don't, you can't even imagine that there's something that is really legitimately, authentically, idiosyncratically you. I can't wait to take your photo and prove to you, prove to you, give you proof when others experience the photos of you that are you showing up 100%. So we don't want someone to actually capture our flaws and immortalize them. And so we need to, we need to, we need to fix what's going on up here and fix what's going on here in our heart, in how we're showing up. And then we need to fix how we actually, you know, stand, position ourselves, you know, how we show up. So all of these things have to be taken into consideration to do a very mindful, intuitive portrait. So the problem is not your flaws. The problem is the connection to this idea that you are flawed, that you are not enough, that you are somehow not lovable, and that you, you're you just not photogenic. Like that's the biggest story that we ever bought into. So what you are is actually vulnerable and you don't feel that you are being seen in a sacred way. I want you to imagine if you have children or if you have grandchildren, or you remember a younger sibling being born, and you looked at this beautiful infant, and they looked back at you with not a shred of hiding, with not a shred of focusing on their flaws, just looking back at you in this moment of connection. And imagine what that infant is seeing as they look at you because you are beaming this love and connection at this baby and this baby memorizes the map of that rare expression because you're not worried that the baby's going to judge you or that the baby is going to look at your flaws so this is what we need to return to. We need to return to being able to show up in front of the camera as if the camera isn't this all-powerful, judgmental, focusing on your flaws thing, but is this brand new being that has just come into the world and is looking at you with wonder and curiosity and total acceptance. Wow, I didn't, that wasn't part of my script. <laughs> that was channeled. Okay, so let me go back to my notes. So, um, so we know that the real problem is not your flaws. None of us are perfect. And so we all, we are all, let's not use the word flaws 
let's just use the word we're all authentic and we all have unique characteristics that are what make us who we are. And so the connection at that level needs to happen where you don't feel vulnerable, where you don't feel not seen. So what would that feel like? Imagine what that would feel like to be supported in that way when the camera's held up and it goes click. So you have to be in a safe place, space, a sacred space, like a temple-like space. Yeah. So where you can be coached and guided deep into the connection that we're focusing on you evoking and bringing forward. Where you get to show up as a spark of light, where you get to be that, that being looking at that infant for the first time with complete openness and love and curiosity and connection and wisdom and the chutzpah of your soul saying, hello, soul. It's nice to meet you. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so let me ask you another question. Do you ever look at photographs of yourself and just kind of go, that's not me. Is that how I look? Or you walk past a mirror or a reflection and you're like, that wasn't me. That, that must, that could, that's no, that's not right. <laughs> so I, I get, I get the craziness of this. Okay. Cause I'm the same way. And, and so I bring to my studio to the people that I am photographing this deep compassion for this crazy making stuff that's going on in our heads and create the kind of space that I would want to be photographed in. Okay. All right. So, um, we're obsessed with this set of impossible standards about our image and this needs to change and we can change it one at a time by how we show up. So these, um, uh, these images, this kind of intuitive portraiture, um, uh, captures, you know, photographs of who you really are. It, it's a bit of a revolution. So join the revolution. Okay. Um, you know, the, the distorted, flawed image in your brain is, is, is how you've been influenced. It's how you've been imprinted. It's how you've been brainwashed. And we need to change this. We need to change it. So all this magic comes together and our spirit shows up. How would that be? How cool would that be? So you, you may be believing that there's no such thing as this kind of an intuitive photographer. Well, I'm, that's me. That's what I do. Okay. Um, this is, this is what I do, whether I'm doing intuitive coaching or I, you know, did, I did body work for nearly 30 years and you, you have to be real with people, right? To go down deep into connection, the deeper you connect to yourself, the deeper you can connect to another. And so this whole piece of self-connection, self-awareness, self-inquiry, um, self-experience is, is something that I've been working on for like 35 years and I'm still working on it. And now I'm working on it through the camera and I invite you into that process with me because it's really cool. All right, it all comes together and our spirit shows up. So imagine this kind of a retreat where we spend an unhurried, relaxing, nurturing day together to connect to the deepest aspects of you and your connections in your life. It's all about you, honey. It's all about you. Capturing these rarest of expressions that are relatable to the people in your life that love you. That's all that matters. At the end of the day, that's all that matters, okay? Um, this isn't about your new LinkedIn profile picture or pictures for social media. These are for you. These are your legacy portraits that you are going to want to have in a safe place, in a sacred space, that you are going to want to give to your loved ones. 
as a gift, as a gift that says in this photo, this connection of me right here, there's a story here. There's a story going on and I want to tell you about it because it's about you and me. Imagine giving a gift like that to your child or your grandchildren. That's what this is about. Come with me on this journey. It's so amazing. You know, it's click, flip the camera around and go, look at that. Look at who that is. Look who showed up. It's okay. All right. So let me just go back to my notes. <laughs> okay. So imagine holding those kinds of connected photographs in your hands, not a digital file in your hands. Okay. Um, that is so important because so many, so many of our, of our files, our images, our everything suddenly becomes digital dust, right? They're gone forever. So let's capture these rare expressions of who you really are for those that love you and for you to see who you really are. Okay, so if you are a spiritually orientated or um, a spiritual person and um, or you're moving in that direction, and this is important to you to be able to show up in your authenticity. We need to talk because that's what I do. That's, that's the kind of person that has the capacity to bring it. Okay, now here's the caveat. Everybody is on a spiritual path and everybody has the capacity to bring it once they are in a safe place. Okay, and they feel seen. And then in that moment, this magic happens. Okay, so that's what I do. Everything that I do is connected to an intuitive base, intuitive relational base to you, to myself, to the moment, and to our intentions. That's huge. So I got you. This is what I do. This is what I've been doing for over 30 years. And it's nurturing. It's it's self-soothing in a way that 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 really I can't put into words. At the end of it, you have legacy portraits of you that are rare. So imagine, imagine in that moment being guided to come forth in your connection from your heart, from your soul, up into your face, and looking into the camera like you are with a connection to someone or some place or some event or anything, whatever it is that's important to you, okay? Sky's the limit. This is highly creative. This is very high touch. It's very rewarding. Hmm, it's kind of amazing. <laughs> so allow your soul to show up. Um, so... Let me tell you a little bit about what inspired this evoking connection with intention process that I've been developing over many years. Okay, it started when I was 17 and I was visiting my grandmother and my great aunt in England. And it was a high school art trip and um, my mom was born in England and she hadn't been back to England since she kind of got married and started having kids and life gets, you know, carries us away. And so here I was in England with my, visiting with my grandmother and my great aunt, who I absolutely adored. And all I could think of was, how can I bring you back with me? How can I bring you back to Canada for my mom? And so I had this inspired moment where I invited them to connect through their hearts. And oh my God, there was this magical thing that happened. Uh, and I had film camera then, right? And so I'm like, click, you know, no idea how it's going to turn out. And so I get home and I immediately submit my film to be um, developed. And then I get the photos and I have this amazing photo of my grandmother and my great aunt and the twinkle in their eyes, the, the, the love coming out of this photo is just amazing but 
to the passerby, they may not actually see it or feel it because it wasn't for them. It was for my mom. And so I framed it and gave it to my mom as a gift. And she opened it. I didn't need to say a thing. She just began to cry. And it opened up how much she missed them and how she needed to go back home to England to visit, to reconnect. And so the next summer we went back to England. I took her home. So the power of a photograph, right? Never under underestimate the power of a photograph. All right. Um, that moment changed my life. And it changed my life. And so ever since then, I have been photographing in an intuitive, mindful way. And I got boxes and albums of and terabytes of data. So making intuitive portraits is now an extension of my intuitive coaching work, my, my psychic work, let's call it what it is. <laughs> okay, so if this is somewhat interesting to you. Um, I would love to talk to you and explain the process to you and see if this is something that you're ready to do because this is a threshold that you cross. Um, and so just imagine co-creating in this way with me to step into a sacred space, to feel safe, not judged and guided every step of the way, to bring up and forward these rare expressions of who you are at a soul level. I do not mince my words. I do not use these words with, 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 um, without deep meaning, okay? Um, I create a space for you to feel safe, to express, to express yourself properly. So in my studio, there's a lot of clicking and flipping the camera around, right? Because I want you to see what's happening right away so that you get what's happening and you feel it. The energy, the, the, whole, the whole quantum field of the studio is just like there is just magic stuff happening. And uh, you just have to experience it, okay? It's really hard to language this because it's unique for each person. It's totally unique for each person, what they experience. So... Um, I would love to tell you more. Um, you know, it's, it's important to know what's really important to you uh, in this work. And it's important to know what are the important connections in your life um, so that we can go deeper down these rabbit holes and bring forward these exquisite, sublime moments of connection that we sometimes get to capture and immortalize. Sure beats bringing out a phone and going click, right? Yeah. So let me ask you another question. Do you have this secret dream of being seen for who you truly are? You know, who you really are. This is something that I've noticed that, that there's a lot of us walking around that have this sort of secret dream and, and, and don't even imagine that it's possible. And so imagine holding a photograph of you that you absolutely love. How would that be? And this isn't about arrogance. This, this is not about ego. This is about self-love. Yeah. This is about being enough. This is about knowing that you are loved. Okay, yeah. Some big primary truth talking here. So, you know, um, you know, I totally get it, okay? Um, you might even have stories in your head of, oh, I'm not photogenic. And that is a bunch of malarkey. It's a big influencing kind of story that's stuck in your head that has to do with how you've been influenced and imprinted by a set of ideals that are outside of you, right? Like I talked about earlier, the media, you know, Hollywood, fashion industry. Um, it's, it, it's none of it, none, none of it's real. And decade by decade, what's ideal changes. And it's crazy making. 
And so step out of that and let's just connect into who you really are, okay? Those rare expressions that can be gently coaxed forward and captured because they come from somewhere deep inside of you. It takes a bit to get them to come out, to play. But when they do, the camera no longer exists and you feel uninhibited, and you are like a child. You are like that infant. You are like that adult looking at that infant. It's just amazing. Okay, so this kind of portrait experience requires an intuitive behind the camera. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's kind of the way of it, all right? Um, so let me see, I'm just, I keep losing my notes. I'm scrolling up and down here. Um, so I also want you to know that because I'm an intuitive and I'm behind the camera, I'm very mindful of your energy, of your energy body, of your connection to yourself in that moment. And when you are in a connection, I feel it and I am able to you know lock that with you and the minute it begins to fade I'm like okay let's take a break and we take a break and we reset we don't keep pushing through that moment it's clear we stop and then we reconnect and because this is intense and we can't maintain that intensity and nor should we try but the minute it starts to fade we're like okay that's good so so it's just, we don't want to get anything that is not 100% authentic. And so it's just such a great process. And I will help you to reconnect and, and then we will carry on. And if we need to take a break, have a little bit of food, have a little bit of a drink, have a wardrobe change, you know, have a little juge, a little lippy fixed up, doesn't matter, a distraction. Okay, and then we step back into that process with fresh eyes, with fresh energy, renewed and ready to go. And so that you re-enter that sacred temple and yes, we get back to work. So that's okay. Um, and we pace ourselves. So it's a nurturing, it's a nurturing, it's a very nurturing process. And so we have to pace ourselves, we have to go slow, and we have to not be hurried. We have to not be looking at the clock and going, oh my God, we've been at this already for two hours. Aren't we done yet? No, we are not done yet. We are not done until, we're not done to the fat lady sings. That would be me. Oh, oh my God, we're done. <laughs> okay, all right. So I want you to come home to you. I want to hold a space. I'm going to roll out the red carpet for you so that you are able to come home to you. Okay. And that's important. It's important. And then we capture it. So this intuitive portrait experience is about surrendering to where you've been stuck and bringing forward the beauty of you as a spiritual, soulful being of light. So, um, Okay, I think I've talked enough here. Um, I would love to share with you more about this unique process. I'm cutting to the chase. Okay, let's do it. Book a discovery call. Let's talk. Let's see if we make a good connection. I want to hear all about you. I want to hear about what's important to you. I want to hear about the people in your life that you cherish and that cherish you. And I look forward to meeting you. Okay, let's, let's do a discovery call. Let's do this book a discovery call. Come on. I can't wait. All right, book a discovery call.